Kids
side door. A glass of tea and dirty water, which one would you choose? Kicking in your front door. Open up. Open up. Open up. Kids deserve. Kids deserve. Seven five five media. Thank you so much, Motown. We love you. We'll see you at Saturday. See you. What's popping, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm too sorry I'm running a little behind today. It's just, oh, you know, one of those days. And sometimes that happen, kids. You know what I mean? It happens. But the thing about it is to keep going. Don't stop. Don't give up. It's going to be hard times, challenging times. And so that you know that it doesn't get any easier when you get an adult. Okay? I'm just here to tell you. All right, so I appreciate everybody coming out this afternoon to check out the show. We are going to continue to work on what we worked on last week, Shaw the Sea Turtle. Yeah, Shaw sure enough, for real. Now, Shaw is looking pretty good last we looked. Last we looked, okay? I have not touched my painting. It's the same as it was last week when we all stopped. So if you could, I want you to start getting your things prepared. I was hoping that y'all was doing it while I was playing those videos because that's what I was trying to do as well. Okay. So, yo, listen, let me tell you, you need green, you need blue. We're going to need some yellow. Okay, let's get it all out. All right. Without further hesitation, I just want to say, oh, yeah, well, let's hesitate. Wait, let's stop. I love you guys. You guys are great artists, and I'm praying that you had a great day so far. If you didn't, let's get it together. We're going to have a great time right here, and I hope that carry on without you, throughout your day. So, no more hesitation. Let's get those paintbrushes and get going. Come on, come on, come on. Come on down here with me. There we go. There we go, family. Look at that. Charter Sea Turtle is, is immobilizing. We're getting her together, okay? So if you haven't seen the image yet, you wasn't here last week, this is what we're working on. Beautiful sea turtle. Beautiful creature. Look at those colors. We have all kind of colors inside of this paint. Look at that. We have some reds. Can you see the reds in there? Browns and golds and yellows and greens. We have, we have a, a beigey colors in there, and we have lots of blue. Lots of blue in the face. It's hard to tell, but they're there. And we're going to work it, and we're going to find those blues and bring them out. Okay? And so this is where we are. All right? Your painting should look something like this. If it doesn't, it's okay. We're going to fix it. 
Let's get started. So, how was your week? Uh, most of you are out of school now, right? Most of you guys, you're out of school. I'm going to put this down on the palette so we can get our palette together, okay, you guys? Um, so, yeah, it's, we're, we're starting into the summer. Um, I don't know what you guys have planned for the summer, but I plan on teaching you guys art this summer, okay? I'm having a summer camp program that will be starting soon. I'll give you more information about that as I progress. Summer camp is um, something that your parents will have to pay for, okay? But it's going to be packed with so much information and so much fun times that I, I don't think they're mine, okay? So I'll be putting that information up this week about the summer camp program, and we'll get started um, with that. So, guys, let's get some paints. I'm ready to paint. What about you? You paint? You paint? All right. Let's start with um. I like. Okay. Let's bring this over because this is what I like for you guys to start looking at when you paint. You use your reference photo. You have a reference photo. Use it. If you're doing something from the top of your man, your your mind, it's okay. But when you are doing something from a reference photo, let me get my other camera on. Uh, I'm going to say, tap, it says tap to enable microphone. Why, aren't, why isn't my microphone enabled already? Uh, my other phone has been giving me trouble, you guys. It's part of the reason why I was late. All right, so we're going to go into my settings, and the microphone should be on. All right, so what I want to tell you, I'm going to let you see this until I get that microphone going. All right, um, when you look at your reference photo, and I just moved it from over here and put it on top of the paint, it's dry, so I don't have that problem. You have to look at all the colors that you have, okay? We have different colors in there. Uh, I mean, all the colors that you have in your paint, you have to figure them all out, okay? So last week we saw that we had some uh, burnt sienna in here. That's like some burnt sienna. If you didn't have it, you can get out some red and some black and mix a tiny, tiny bit of black with your red. Just a very tiny little bit. You can even go purple. If you have a purple, you can mix that in with your red and get um, with your black and, and red and get some even, even more colors, okay? So, yo, let's get that together. I don't understand quite why this thing is not allowing me. Uh, all right. So we probably have to work with one camera today. Uh, sometimes when you crack your screen on your phone, you, uh, <clears throat> which I have, you have to, um, it starts acting funny. It starts acting weird. It starts jingling around on its own and doing its own thing. So we're going to go in. This is a Master Touch Thick Body Acrylic Paint. I got this particular paint from Hobby Lobby. You can too, I believe, in all areas. This is a burnt sienna, so we're going to put a little bit of burnt sienna down because I see it here, okay? I see it up in here. So we're going to put a little bit down. This is going to be very challenging for your girl today because we are limited. So I'll put it all down, and then we'll talk about it. So just get you a little bit of burnt Sienna and get your palette and just squeeze a little bit. Not much, just a little bit on there. If we need more, we'll get it. Now you can see, look how close this color is to that color. Okay. So we're gonna put that down. All right. We're gonna grab us some green. I see a green in there. Let's get into that. Alrighty, here's a green. Now this particular green is by Liquitex. I use heavy body acrylics. This is professional art paint. Okay, you guys might have it in cups. You might have it in small tubes. It may not be professional. Maybe student grade paint or beginner's grade paint. It's all sorts of paints. Okay, this is Liquitex. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of my green out there. Not too much. I can come back and get more if I want. I just don't want to waste it. All right. So get a nice little amount. About the size of my thumbnail. Okay. 
Put that down there. You see? Okay, so we got that going on. Uh, this phone is cray cray. This phone is cray cray. All righty. No, it's you know how the energy in the phone when you crack the screen, and then the energy makes screen start flipping and flopping and doing all this cray cray stuff. But well, that's what's happening over here. Look at. Um. It maybe yeah okay if you accept the invite. Yeah, but you can see what's going on. I'm going to show you guys so y'all see what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. So, without touching it, my phone is just going crazy. Look at that. That's it. And the, the, it's just going crazy. And even if I swipe out of it, it just goes crazy. Look at that. And shout out to the uh, phone makers that... I mean, no, shout out to myself for dropping my phone. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. we got that green down there. We got, I need some blue. Let's get back to the subject. You see the blue, so we're going to need some blue. I have it. It's a liquid text. This one is called Brilliant Blue. You can use any blue that you have. You can add, uh, add white to it and other colors to it to adjust it. I'm going to use some Brilliant Blue today. So I'm going to put that down. All right. I see a little orangey color in there, too. That's orange. I do. I have it. There we go. If you don't have orange, we'll get you some. We'll make it with using red and yellow. You can always mix paints together and make the colors that you want. And that's how we got all these colors. They didn't just show up. Some of the colors are organic, meaning they are natural and they come from different plants and rocks and trees and the such and things and what have you used that for. You all know what I mean. You need to go uh, accept the invite. From uh, mm -hmm, from me, and then once you accept the invite, I'll invite you on the camera, sissy. I see some yellows, you guys, so get the yellow out. And so I'm just getting all this stuff out because we are almost there where we need to be. We'll put some yellow down, so pushing that down. Ooh, I might have put too much. Oh, my goodness, I hope not. Well, he's got a total shell that's got a lot of yellow in it, so hopefully we'll work that out. And we also... Need some white. We need white to add to the colors that we have, add and subtract colors. So we're gonna put some white out. Not white out, like you're using to cover up some ink, but the white out on our palette. And it's really cool today, so my paint shouldn't be drying up. So um you need me to send it to you again? Oh, I didn't read that. Oh, you did not. Did you yes, I did. Uh, I'll, re I'll send it back to you. Oh, my computer's is acting really out today. There we go. Send it to you, sissy. Auntie Cuddles. And then that's going to be that. All right. So. Now, fam, friends, and those who love me, <laughs> let's get started. Get out your medium-sized brush. If you need some water, you guys, get a little bit. This is a big cup, but you can see I only got so much down here. It's less than four ounces, you guys. So get four ounces of water if you have that. And we're working with these two brushes, our flat brush and our tiny detail brush, okay? So I'm just going to swish it around in water to get it's nice and wet. I'm come over here and I'm gonna grab my just kidding rag, art rag. I'm gonna mute that and turn it all the way down. And um, we gonna get started. We gonna get started. I got my two brushes. It's a small flat brush and a tiny detail brush. All right, let's get out. Painting um reference photo out of the way. You can't see that good. So turn this camera up like this. And I want you guys to see this palette. So kind of swish it over here if I can. Let's get it all up here so you guys can see. Okay. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna bring also I'm gonna bring my water over so I don't keep reaching over you guys. There we go. All right, so let's get into 
the face of the turtle. Let's walk with the chin area, okay? This chin area right here. We're going to work with that, all right? So I see a lot of lime green. I, I do have some lime green around here. I thought I did anyway. I know I did. Hmm. That's interesting. We'll find it. All right. We'll make some. Yellow and let's get some together. Let's make some lime green. We're going to take some green out of here. We'll put it to the side. Get a lot of yellow. And we're going to mix it all up on the same brush. Oh, hopefully my vocals are back. I'm not sure about the um, the visuals, though, but we're going to see if the vocals are back at least. Okay, great. All right, everybody. We are working with... Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to be okay. I think I'll work it out. All right, so we're going to put the lime green right on his chin, you guys. And try to stay within the lines that we've created, knowing that this is his face and his neck. You know what I mean? So come on up here and put that lime green in there and let's get it in there. If you have another brush, we're going to be switching the brush off soon. If you don't have another brush, it's okay. I see some lime green over here in the, on his back. So we're going to put that gently in there and curve it around. Curve it around. Make sure you're holding your brush. From the tip of the brush, okay? From the tip of the brush. Let's get all in here and get this together too. The base coat of this turtle is a lime green. So you can fill it all in, okay? Go ahead and fill it all in. Even go back over the top of these brown ones. Just gently go over to make sure you cover up all the white areas, okay? Even in here. All right? Leave a little space to know where his head ends and his body begins, okay? So just come around with that. All righty. So we're doing good. I see some lime green on the top of his total cell. We're going to go up here and stop and wet and just put some. Go right over that brown. Leave some showing, but go right on over it. See how it covered it up but yet and still you still see it this lime green is opaque to the darkness of that burnt sienna okay it's opaque to the darkness of the burnt sienna so anytime that you look at your reference photo and you see that lime green you go ahead and add it in there it's okay to go over the top of some of it because the colors are layered that's what gives you a a realistic effect with the layered colors, okay? Now, let's get into some of this underneath on this bottom of this turtle shell. I see some goldish, orangish colors in there, and I've already started putting some here. You don't want to just put 
one color on there. It's more than one color. So you have to represent all the colors that you see. So I'm going to encourage you to get a little bit of this burnt umber, a little bit of this orange, and mix it with the lime green. All right, come back over here to start putting it in, in the shapes. See, now it's, painting is not just colors, but it's also shapes, okay? Let me show you what I mean. If you look at his underbody, can you see that there's like an upside down triangle here? Maybe another one. It's curved triangles, but there's triangle shapes here underneath his body. You want to represent that with this paintbrush. Okay, so here, there's one here. Look at this one, and look at this one. Look at this one, and look at this one. Now we need to make one other one over here, and it's going to go something like this. It doesn't have to be exact, but just get the shapes in there. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Then there's one here that comes around like that. I see it. And then there's another one back here that goes out like that. Uh, maybe this is a flat surface, so we just fill that in. Just brush real lightly because it doesn't have to be exact, okay? So we're just trying to represent that. And in between each one of these little triangles is dark lines. Y'all see those dark lines? They're sort of like this color of this burnt sienna. Let's go ahead and put those in as well, okay? I'm taking my brush, and I still have paint on it. You see that paint? And it's okay. I'm going to lay the brush on top of my cup. Here's my cup. Okay, can you guys see my cup? I'm going to lay the brush on top of my cup. I don't want to put it in the water. I want it dry for right now. If I want to loosen the paint up, I'll wet it when I get ready to use it. For right now, I'm just going to leave it laying on top of my cup, just like this, balancing that. And I'm going to grab my detail brush out, tap that off like this, right? Tap that, get that water off of there. Yeah, that's what you do. Now we're going to get in. To this burnt sienna. This burnt sienna look like it might have some blue mixed in with it. And I'm just using my eye. Okay. So I'm using my eye to see what I see in that. So I'm going to take some of this blue and I'm going to mix it with this burnt sienna. And I'm going to get a really dark, dark, dark blue, almost like a midnight blue. Okay. So now that I have this midnight blue color, I could take it and I'm going to go around each one of these turtle shells, just like I see in the painting. It's going up, it's coming down, it gets right here, and it goes straight down the middle of his body, and another one on this side, like that, and it reaches in the middle of his body as well. I see it. I can see that. You guys see that? So I'm grabbing grab me some more of this burnt sienna and this um, Blue mixed up. And I see there's a mark right here. So I'm going to make it. There's a mark right here. Or you could call it strokes. Some people call it strokes. Um, so I'm going to make another mark here. And then I'm just going to go around. And just go around. And I think that's all the bluish looking ones. So just curve that off at the top. Make sure it looks like a triangle. Curl this off. Now, at this point, I'm just scrubbing my brush on. And I'm getting all the paint off. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, now, see, that all that blue stuff is, is there. So, you have to find them. And I'm going to see another one here. I add a little bit of brown because it's really not that blue there. And I'm going to come around this one. I see it needs me to go around there. Oh, there's another one. And you just start making the marks, you guys. Do what you see, okay? Do what you see. Um, so I see something under the arm. It's a little darker, so I'm going to go there. All the places that you see is just a little dark, and it looks like it needs to be drawn out with your tiny, tiny brush to make it look like the painting, okay? So you do all of that. And after you do all of that, you guys, I want you to, um, you know, just check the whole turtle. So we see some darkness over here and over here. And just kind of just go around. And when you get to the fist here, there's a mark there. 
There's a mark here and there. Now, when your paint starts drying up, you can wet your brush a little bit and come back and get started. And just keep finding all of those spaces. All right, so we're going to get some more. I see some more over here. Put a little bit. It's blue. It's okay. It's a little brown. It's okay. It's all right. So make your marks. See how the turtle is starting to fill in now? Yeah, that's nice. All right, so come over here. We're going to get some more of this paint. You guys, I hope, did you have breakfast already, you guys, or lunch? Are you working on lunch or breakfast? In some parts of the world, people are just going to bed. Um, Some people, you know, days and times are different from ours here in America, so they're just going to bed. So I see some more marks over here. I see one there, Um, a couple up here. We're going to just start blending it in, you guys. Just start making it happen. All around in, turn the arm around. Um, I see a lot on his face with that color, but we're not going to get into the face yet until we just we're just going to practice and go over here because the face is the most important part. So just get a little bit more brown if you need to. If it's too blue, Matt, I made it a little too blue. It's okay, and just cover the parts you need to cover. And they do not necessarily have to be exact. Uh, your your sea turtle may may look different than mine, and it's okay, but because it's, it's about individuality and originality, and just being creative in your own way. If your sea turtle is red at this point, um, yeah, you're doing your thing, and it's all right. Don't get upset. You can change it if you want. If you don't want it to be as dark as this, you can change it. And you can even add other colors in, okay? You can add other colors in, like, if I want to add a little bit of this green and mix it with the blue, and then mix it with the brown, and then come over and do something on the, on the sea turtle's back a little bit more, that's fine. That's okay. All right? So this is called starting to get depth. Death, D E P T H, death. Okay. All right. So, I'm not reading the chat right now, but I'm going to get into it. I'm going to go over here and grab some of this lime green, too. I mean, you know, just have fun, you guys. Mix the colors in. This creature is very, very colorful. Okay. He's very colorful. And he deserves you to take your time and put in all those colors that he has. Because him is, well, I should say her, because this is Shar the sea turtle. She's very colorful. And then just start dapping and dotting and dapping and dotting, because you will never, ever, ever, ever get every single one of these dots correctly. See those little dots? You won't do it. So take, I mean, it can be done. If your mind says, I'm going to get every single dot, every single one of these Skin pieces, I don't know what to call them, but if you say, I'm going to do that, then you can do it. Because <laughs> you can do anything you want. You can, you can If you put your mind to it, you can put in, you can do anything you want. I'm here to tell you within this hour so that we're paying it, that ain't going to happen. Let's be realistic here. Okay, so I'm adding a little white into this mixture of this orange and green just to lighten it up because I see a lot of light marks on here. And so I'm just going to come in with my brush and just tap it, tap it, tap it, and just show that there is light marks there. You see that? Okay. Look, there's more. Look here. See those light marks? Little light marks all around. Okay. Now we're going to work on that because we had a paint. We can do what we want. All right. So we're just going to, you can, I was tapping, but maybe you guys want to just make circles. Let's just make circles. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's put some circles in here. We're going to add some white to it. Okay? We're just going to put some circles in there. And this color I've been using is, is I put white, the lime green, and some of that orange. It's got some burnt sienna in it. They got some blue. Let's put some more orange up there, a little bit yellow. We're going to mix it all up. Some green and some more white. We're going to put it all in there. We're going to mix it up. Boom. All 
All right, so once we got that color flavor mixed up, just start making dots, okay? Make some dots all around on him. Yeah, makes a lot. make a lot of them. There you go. Just keep doing it. Some will be big. Some will be small. Just tap with your brush. Tap. Tap with your brush. There you go. Just tap with your brush. If you feel like it's a bigger circle, take your brush and squiggle it around like that. All right? Just tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap. Get some more white. If it start getting a little dark, get some more white on your brush. Tap, tap. Just put it in there. And now you get to his neck, you're going to straight. You're going to stroke downward and lightly and add that little feature in there, see, around his neck. It's not dots anymore. You start adding a feature of a stroke like that. You know, put that in there and just step back. Look at your art. Step back and look at it. Do you like it? What would you change? Okay, let's change it. If you see something you want to change, change it. I'm going to add a little bit of circles up here. I'm just going to go crazy with the little tiny circles. And I'll be adding them in everywhere because Char Sea Turtle has, that's the feature. Everybody has certain features. You will say, okay, this is my turtle. My turtle doesn't look like that. Well, we're all people, and we don't look the same either. Some of us have. We all have eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and hair, and eyebrows. But why don't we look the same? Because all of our eyes, ears, nose, and eyebrows, and mouths all are shaped differently. We all have them. But each one of us have a different shape. We all have hands, okay? But all our hands are shaped differently, okay? And that's what makes us an individual, individual, okay? So, Shar the Sea Turtle is an individual turtle. And Shar the Sea Turtle will not look like your turtle at home. So we have to make sure that we tell the story of Shar's the sea turtle story. Now get you some more white on your brush and go in between where we left off last week too. Go in between there and make these little um, indentations or marks separating each one of these colors like that. See how it separates with a lighter color? You go ahead and make that. Make that happen. Okay, wherever you see a lighter color, I want you to go in there and get it. Make it look just like your painting, your picture. You want your painting to look as close as your paint, your picture as you can. It doesn't have to be exact, but let's try to get it exact, okay, as we can. Make the marks, all right? It's coming along really good. You guys are doing really, really well. I'm so proud of you. I'm very proud of you right now. I am. I'm proud of myself. I've never done a turtle before. So let's just keep it 100% honest. I, I've never painted a turtle, but I like it. I think I might do another one one day soon because this is fun. Are you guys having fun doing it? I hope so. I'm mixing a little bit more white in with the other colors that I have because it's starting to get a little dark. So I want to lighten it up a little bit so I can make the mark on his back. On her back. Sissy, you're not helping me keep up the shot. The sea turtle is a girl. I'm not a girl. Oh, girl. You're pretty. She's very pretty. So I see all these things. All right, let's get to the. Uh... You want to you... Cut say she wants some lashes on the sea turtle. We're going to do that. We can get into that a little bit later. All right, so I'm getting down in this white. Now, um, this is coming out really, really good, you guys. I want to fill this foot in. So I'm going to fill it in. And I see a lot of blue in that. So I'm going to go in here and get some blue on my brush. I'm going to bring it in here with those other colors, that white look. And I see some green in there. It's like an aqua color. You can get aqua by mixing blue and green together. So I'm going to mix that blue and green together. And I'm going to put it on the foot, right there too, 
can make the another one. My, and over here, this foot too. Don't forget that foot. We're gonna put that on. We're gonna put that foot on. Okay. There it is. And I think I want to lighten it up with a little bit of yellow and white mixed up together. That so because you don't want to just be start white when you start lightening things up because when you do that, it takes away from the the color. You know, you know, it just it's not the same. So we're just gonna put a little foot up there. And I did that with some white and a little bit of green, some blue, and some yellow. So we got that foot out there. Oh, look at that now. Look at that. Got that foot on, sissy. All right. So we got the foot on. I'm not liking the shape of it, so I'm just going to just stare at my reference photo and try to make that shape as best that I can, okay, to make it look like that. Now, sorry to see turtles got big belly. We got that belly together. I went outside the line, so we'll come back with some blue a little bit and fix that up. Let's go over here to this arm. I'm not, I haven't been doing too much over there. Um, this one over here is just about done. So we're going to uh, go over to the other arm, okay? We're just about done. We're going to come back and do some more and make sure we get in between and all of that. So that's what I'm fine. Let's get over here. All right, so um, this arm is from what I'm seeing in the painting, it's not too far in colors from the other arm, okay? See this arm? But I see that this is the bottom of it. This looks like the bottom. This looks like the top. And this lighter color is the middle, which only goes so far, all right? So we got the lighter color in there. But once we start making these marks, we're going to have to darken it up. See, this is darker here. And so this is lighter. So we're going to have to darken that up to make it look like that. So let's get into it. All right. Turn it that way a little bit. So this darker color, I see that we kind of got some up here. It's a little um it's a little dry. So I'm gonna add some water on my brush. And I'm gonna tap my brush off. And I'm just gonna squiggly my brush in this paint. Loosen that paint back up, okay? I need to do it again. I will dip my brush and I'll come down and I'll squiggly it on there and try to get some of it. Now let's see what color this turns out to be. Almost that color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more green, a little bit more blue to it, make more of a turquoise teal color. I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna try it again. Wow, now that's starting to look like what I'm seeing there, but I see a little bit more darkness. So I'll get some of this burnt sienna. Get you some burnt sienna. So now we know the, the recipe. It's burnt sienna. It's green and blue. So we're going to put that in there. And we're going to squiggle it around. That's the recipe. That's how you figure out what you need. You sample it. You come over. You see what the picture is saying. You can see with your bare eye that that required a greenish color or yellowish color. So you go get it, okay? You go get it. You put it to the side and up here. And then we tried it out and it was too light, right? It was too light. So then we went and got some burnt sienna and we added that to it, which is a brown. Okay, so we added that to it. If you don't have burnt sienna, you can make it with red and black or red and blue and then you have a darker brown I mean, uh, a brown that you could work with this close to burnt sienna okay so it's it's all dark here this in between should be dark so we're gonna go in between all the paw get that burnt sienna mixture and put it on here we're gonna go in between we're just gonna go in between it's okay if if the other little squares are gone now, it's okay. You're going to come back over it and put them back in. Okay? Layers, folks. Layers. All right? So, got that going. So, you guys know any turtle jokes? Have you all heard any turtle jokes? I have. I've heard a few. 
Okay, and we're just going to go in there. And I might have added too much orange in there. But I see something that I need up there, so I'm just going to put it up there. If you make a color and it's not the color you want, you can change that color. Yeah, you sure can. All right, you can change it or you can put it somewhere that you might need it. So I'm just going to put that color right there to represent the shell part of the arm. It's almost like a crab leg. Yeah. All right, so I'm out of paint, guys. So this time to add some more paint to our palette. All right, so lay this up here. I hope you can see. We'll get back into our burnt sienna because I'm seeing that we're using a lot of that right now. So I'm gonna put that on. Yeah, so anyway, I was telling you guys about this hilarious sea turtle joke I heard from my, one of my sisters, okay? And she told me all about the sea turtle joke, and I couldn't wait to come and share with you guys. What else am I out of? That's really it. I'm just out of that. And, and so, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, look. Let me tell you one. Let me tell you one. What do you call a turtle who live, who loves photography? What do you call a turtle that loves photography, meaning they like to take pictures? What do you call that turtle? That loves photography. Oh, y'all know? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. A snapping turtle. <laughs> hey, yeah. So, um, you guys didn't see me put that paint on. I'm sorry. Here we go. I put the burnt sienna down here at the bottom, okay? Right there. Right there. And so, this is my white. And now, this is pure white up here. This light is not showing it's pure white, okay? But when I put my brush, remember the old brush I set to the side? Grab it up. So I put that brush down there, and I mix some of that color that was on my brush. I mean, on yeah, on the brush with some of the white. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. Okay, so I got that color. I'm going to add a little bit. Well, let's let's put it on. Let's put it on the canvas and see what color we got on here now. All right? So, because I see some lightness over here, and I want to try to represent that so I'm putting it on look I'm just stroking it on stroking it loosely on and that came out really good oh man I like that color okay I think that color came out really really good so we put that there I see a little bit up here it's kind of sort I'm just gonna brush my brush up there and get it all right I can use this even here like if I wanted to get down to the belly of him or her and just get here. All right. Sha is identifying as a him right now. Okay. Let's get that in there. Huh? All right. And then we'll come over here. I see a little likeness here. Okay. Okay. And we'll come up there and do that. So we're just going to add in little spaces and parts where we see that it needs to lighten up. And you just go around your turtle and you put it in there. And just when you do it, it and you're in a curvy part, because now he's a ball, he's he's shaped like this. Char is shaped like this, okay, like a ball. So when you it's not an up and down thing. When you when you paint in a ball, you curve your wrist, you twist your wrist like this. It's twist, twist your wrist, and you get those colors in and you twist, okay? You twist under the neck, you twist it twist it twist it and you you get you gain a stroke that way you twist it like that okay so this color is a really great color i'm glad that we made it i'm just gonna dot some over here just put some dots on it because we want to make it very very colorful so we're just gonna add some dots just add some dots and i know that big dots just add them anyway just add them anyway okay look how our turtle is starting to take shape and form all right doing really really well I see a little bit on the foot. I'm just going to stroke some down there and put a little color down there. All right. All right. So that was a pretty cool color. I see. Let's see if we can keep it up. I'm going to dip my brush back over here and I'm going to grab some more of it if I have it. I'll add a little bit of white with it. Flip my brush back and forth. Turn it up inside down and therefore what have you. Now, this was just something we're doing. This is not something that I had planned. But this, I got a lot of white on this brush. But if it's too light, We'll change it, right? But for right now, I want to take this. I think 
And even though I said we was gonna go over here, let's let this dry. Okay, let's get to the face. Alrighty, we're moving along really well, you guys. Let's look at his beak. Well, I call it a beak because it's shaped like a parrot beak. It comes down and it cooks and it crosses over the bottom of the mouth. If this is the bottom of my mouth, that hook comes over and hooks over. So it's sort of like this. And I can see that it's a shape. Okay, so I'm going to try to make that shape with my brush. I'm going to start under the nostril because this is the nostril. Come on, let me show y'all. See the nostril? All right. And then it seems like the beak comes down and shapes down like this. And it does. All right. So we're going to work on this part of the mouth right now. Just that part. We're going to start right here under the nose. And we're going to stroke our brush down. We'll come on to this one. And, and not all the way because, I mean, you see that part dark. We're going to try to capture that shape too as well. Let's see if we can do it. I know we can. And you guys can do it too. You guys can do it. <laughs> Just relax. If you're having a hard time, mom, dad, right now at contact 755 media at gmail.com, I will talk it out. The link, um, let me drop my link again. These are the link is being dropped for 755 media channel. Parents, if you would like to go over to 755 Media right here on YouTube, there is a comment section that you can drop. I have moderators over here that's willing to talk to you if you um if you um uh, are having problems, they will uh assist you with their fullest capabilities. If they cannot assist you, they will talk to me. They can talk to and communicate with me, and I can answer any and all, all questions. I am not reading my chat. My moderators are reading my chat for me and communicating with me. Okay. So I want to say thank you to all the 11 people that's in here. If your kid is having uh, difficulties with Shar the Sea Turtle, please contact me in my email right now. Right now. And we can work it out. Okay. So, you guys, we got this color on our brush. All right. I need the kids to relax. I need the kids to... Um, I need you guys to um, take a deep breath. Breathe in, honeys. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax. It's okay. It's okay. All right? So we're going to get this done. And here we go with the face. Y'all ready? Play a little music. Calm y'all down. Because I'm hyped right now. I'm a dog on self. I'm super hyped. And I'm hoping I'm not laughing. <clears throat> Start at the beginning of the nostril. Take your breast and tip it to the side. Let's talk about that. Why won't I just go straight down? Because I see it's like a, a peak here. So I'm going to turn my breast this way. And I'm going to pull it down. Turn the breast the way you see the shape. If I turn the breast this way, I'm going to be missing the top up there. If I turn it the same way as the shape, and I put it down and I stroke it around just like that. That's what I want you to do. Take your brush, put it down, and stroke it around. Y'all ready? Let's go. Take your brush. Boom! Look at that there. Now I went down too far. But you know what? I ain't mad because I can cover it up. That's what paint do. That's what we do. We are this baby. We can do it. Let's go. So I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to go on the other side, and I'm going to just find that shape. I'm going to turn my brush just like this, because this is the shape I see. So I'm going to push my brush down like that, and I'm just going to bring it down. Yeah, just push the brush down and bring it down. There's another one on this side, okay? So we're going to turn our brush this way and bring it down, because that's the shape we see. Look how easy that was. You said, no, don't look like a face I see. I know. we got to work on it, so let's go. All right, so this same color is still good. You got it on your brush. Let's go. Go around the eye with it one time. Let's go. Go around the eye. I see it at the eye. I see it all up in there. Let's go lay it down. There. And let it dry. Walk away from it. It's a little tiny piece on this side. Goal is, folks, to cover up the white of the canvas. You don't want the white of the canvas to show. Okay? 
So now I see some around the neck here. So I'm just going to lightly stroke around the neck and make my marks. Okay. And wherever else I can see the discolor might want to go, I'm going to put it there. I think over here might be good. Just a little bit. Just add a little. Just a little bit. Just a little features. Just add a little features over there to it. Bring it on around. Under the arm a little bit. There you go. Put some right there. And then you're done. I mean, why keep messing with it? We're pretty much done. So that's good. But take a break. Wait, I'm sorry. Let's go all the way around his face. I'm, I'm sorry. Because you know what? I don't want to have I want you guys to have to go through each other. So we're going to go ahead and take this color. It's the same color under here. But it's got black spots on it. So let's just go ahead and take our brush. Smash it down on his face. Smash the brush on his face. There you go. Just smash it on him. Yeah, just smash it. There you go. All right. We can do it up at the top of the head too. All right. So we got that color on his face. You see what I'm talking about? Now we can add black spots on top of that color. And we'll be finished. Feel me? Okay. So we ain't got to take a brush and go in between and all that. We already got to lay it down the foundation. Here it is. Smash the brush on his face and we wiped it on there. There we go. That's it. You see? You see? All right. It's all about... I told you I ain't never painted the turtle. So it's all about figuring out what we're going to do next. All right? So I think... Without wetting your, I mean, without um, rinsing, just wet your brush a tiny bit, get a little bit on there, and tap it off. So your brush is still look like this. Same colors over there. I want you to go into this burnt sienna and get you some, get some of this blue, and put it over it by itself, and mix it up. And it's gonna start turning dark, a darker weird color. But that darker weird color is what we want. Because we're going to go in here and we're going to start tapping this color right onto his face. Underneath the, um, right in here. In the, can you see it? Right here. See that? See that? All right, so then under the eye goes like this. Look at the eye. You see it's under there, and it's shaped like it goes under like that. Like that, okay? Now over here on this eye, it goes over there. And it's like that, okay? Make your marks. God bless you, sis. Yeah. Anybody need any help, sissy? All right, so the nose here. Sort of like a triangle, so I'm gonna take my brush and do like that. I'm gonna come down like that. Look at there, y'all see it? Y'all see it starting to happen? Okay, so we're gonna go around the back of the eye like this, about here on the sides, and now, folks, it's starting to come to. I see a little darkness here that we need to get in there and talk about. Let's talk about a lightly brush now. Lightly brush, get that neck going in there. All right? Under the beak. Look at there. We can do it. We can do it. Let's go, family. Guys, just let me know if you need help. All right? Start making the shape of the face. Look at that. All right? Let that dry, y'all. We'll come back to it and put the spots on. Now we got this weird dark color okay, on our brush. I see some places that can really use this weird dark color. How about over here on this paw? This is dry now. Let's get back to work. We're not going to go wide with our brush. We're going to turn it to the side because these strokes are small. All right? So we're just going to hit each one of them. Hit each one of them just a little bit. All right. Make it look as close as you can to our reference photo. All right. Let's bring it on around. And then with some on the paw. Remember, we kind of messed it up here. A couple there. Now, don't worry if you get it in the water. We'll fix that. 
we're gonna go back around and trace out our turtle. Okay, I see one right here that's not represented, so I'm gonna get that. Another one right here. This side looks pretty cool, but there is some spaces that we can go back over. So we'll take a moment and go back over those pieces and try got it all covered. We'll just go back over. Just tap, 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 tap. Bam, don't go crazy. You're going too fast. Take your time. Take your time. And go back over them. Okay? Like so. Even the back of the shell, if you feel like you need to go to the back of the shell and do some work, go ahead. You got that on your brush right now, so you might as well. Okay? All right. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. I want you guys to put this brush in the water. You have a small brush out. Get the detail brush. Da 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 da. And get into that dark color. Get into it if you need to wet it. Go ahead. Get into that dark color. Add some more burnt sienna to it if you need to. Add some more blue to it if you need to. Do it. Get into it. Get into it. Okay. If you guys have some black, that would be great. Get some black. All right. So we're just going to try to get the darkest colors we can. And I'm saying sorry to my orange because I put out a lot of it and didn't really use it. But we still got some work to do over here. We might get into it. So the dark color, nah, that's not dark enough. You guys, get your black out. Get your black out. Get your black out. I also have burnt umber. It's one of my favorite. This is Liquitex Heavy Body. This one is transparent. Let me see if I can find my one that's not transparent. Sometimes it comes transparent. That's why I put a T on it. So I know which ones. Look how close they look. They look the same. But if you read the name, this is saying transparent burnt umber. And this is just saying burnt umber. So I put a T on it. I made a magic marker mark with it. I put a T on it. And so that you guys, I won't get confused. Okay, because they look so much alike. I don't want the transparent one. Because I doubt if you guys have it. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a burnt sienna. I mean a burnt umber. And just a little bit of dew. All right, because we're just going to do the eyes. Burnt Sienna looks a lot like burnt charcoal, and that's exactly what it is. So if you have burnt Sienna, go ahead and get it out, because it's really important piece to uh, make an art for me. Um, it adds an elegance to things that you wouldn't believe. So I'm putting down a little bit of black. And a little bit of burnt sienna, I mean burnt umber, and you guys can pretty much see that it's a brown, but it's so dark you can get away with it. Okay, so see how close that black is in burnt umber. All right, so what we're gonna do is the eyes. Now I can really get a good look at these eyes. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's go into the eyes. Here I'm gonna lift you up. Look at the sea turtle's eyes. Look deep into his eyes. Deep. These are the things that you have to notice when you're doing paintings. You have to really investigate and look at your stuff, okay? Sea turtle has darkness around the outer part of his eyes. I'm going to turn my brush upside down so I can show you. Darkness around. And then it's almost like a midnight, deep, dark blue. And then there's a black, tiny dot in the center. That's the pupil. We want to do that. We want to do that. We want to do that. We want to see the turtle looking like that. Yeah. Hey. So, y'all, let's take the dark part first. Put your brush into a little tiny bit of your black. Okay? Just a little tiny bit. And mix it in with that burnt umber and glue that we had. Take a little bit of black. See, we don't want straight, stark black because that's not arty. That's not arty, y'all. So, we're just 
stuff. In a shape. See that shape? It's almost like the shape of a, a egg. Okay? Like an egg kind of tilted to the side. So we're going to get into that. We're going to take our tiny brush. And let's make an egg, guys. Let's make an egg. Okay. So I'm not liking it. I'm thinking that that, that color is too light. I'm going to add a little bit of my burnt umber to it. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. I think that's too light. I'm going to add a little bit more black to it. Okay. So I want you to do just what I did. Add a little bit of that color. Add a little bit of burnt umber if you got it or brown. Then add a little bit of black on top. Yeah, that's gonna give you that. That's gonna give y'all that depth. That's gonna give you that depth I'm always talking about. Now don't forget he got two eyes, okay? So we're gonna go over here. We're just gonna do a little bit of hair as well. Make a little stroke. That's all you gotta do. Nothing, nothing terrible. No, don't do too much, okay? So now we got that going. Remember, the dark part was in the very pupil of the eye, so let's put that little tiny pupil in there. Yeah, there y'all go. Add that little dot in there. Uh-huh. And, the, uh, and, and then you had the deep blue sea eyes. So we're going to get some blue on that same brush. Mix it in. Get some more blue. Get some more blue. If you want to add, excuse me, y'all. If you want to add a little tiny bit of green, go ahead and grab, 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 grab. Add it in there. Mix that suck up. Yep, yep. Put a little water on your brush if it's dry, okay? Now let's go in there and make the circle part. Yeah. Lightly, lightly tap it. Lightly tap. There you go. Ooh. And now Char the sea turtle can see. Mm-hmm. Now I want you to go take that same color and make the nostrils. Uh-oh, I didn't like that. It's too light. Let's get some black on the brush. Put it in there. Make the nostrils. One on each side. Yeah. Put some more black on it if you have to. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. It's going to be all right. We're going we're gonna to tone it down. See how stark that black is? That's why we don't want to just use it by itself. We'll take it and mix it in with my brush. Wet my brush. Mix it in with that blue again. We're just going to mix it in. So we can tone it down on our next go round. How did that turn out for you? How did it turn out, everybody? <clears throat> did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Okay. Did you enjoy putting the eyes in? Let's take that dark color and trace around just under the face. And that is going to give us the perfect, perfect shadow over here on this side of his face. Hey, sir. All right. See how it just made that bottom lip pop out when we did that? Did y'all see that move we just did? Because, see, there's a shadow on this side. Y'all see the shadowing over here? It's not like this. We don't have the shadow yet, but we're going to build the shadow, right? But for right now, just a line that comes here. Just the sun is shining in a certain direction. The sea turtle is lit up on this side but on this side it is not okay we can experience an echo i thought that was you over there i really truly did sis i really did all right so to separate let's stay on the face let's stay on the face i'm sorry all right so let's get under this eye there's a droopiness to it it's shaped like a v we're gonna put that on there. All right. Shout out to the eight people that's in the building. Thank you for coming in this afternoon. We really, really do appreciate you. Uh, supporting the kids is very important, you guys. They've taken the art out of schools. We have to make sure that we show the kids the art is still here. Okay. The art is still here. So I'm just I'm just trying to see something. Well, I felt like my drawing wasn't looking quite as uh, like my sea turtle should look. So I was just trying to go over it with and check on something. Okay, y'all, with the same paint on your brush, go into your blue. Get some. Mix it in here. I want a nice dark blue. Mix it in this. 
and so we're gonna go at this point around here just like i was just going i was just testing something out i told you guys that i've never painted a sea turtle before so i'm new at it and i'm trying to figure it out as well so i'm just going to trace the shape of his head which is at an angle hey you okay all right she's okay over there you guys and I see a little bit of white needed in there, so we get a little bit white. It's almost like a light blue that's starting to happen on top of his head. All right, I have to figure that out. So I already put that blue with that other color mixed up there. So now I just put a little bit of white on my brush and I traced it out. I'm, I'm going to trace it out with the white on my brush and see if I can mimic what the turtle is doing up there. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. I'm gonna bring it right down here because I see that, that, that color on that side. So I'm gonna bring it down like that. It's starting to get to it, y'all. Wet your brush if you have to. Go back into that color mixture. Slap it around. Y'all see what I'm doing? And get some more of that white on your brush. And it's gonna turn into like a light grayish color. That's what we're working with now. Right above the nose make your mind it's not white enough so I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it come back it's not white enough I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it come back that's now that's it okay I'm gonna do it on this side as well take that up um I can see I see all kind of shapes on shark turtle so it's gonna go under the nose with that the nostrils, I should say, under the nostrils, and it comes down to like a V. So I'm gonna make that move, right? I see some white in the eye over here, so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna add that to the uh, equation on this side of the eye. Just angle that eye off and square the top of the head off with it, okay? Y'all see where we're going here? <laughs> All right. Uh, shout out to Sweet Arts Custom Creations Journey with Kiki Unbiased LLCC I mean LLC da, 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 I don't know where I get the two C's from Accessory Sonya Siegler in the building Panama City What's going on baby MLW Fisherman Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon Yes I appreciate all of you all I really do Thank you so much Keisha Comedy said it's in the building about the snap turtle yeah that's right we got one going on Kisa. thank you edna's essence good to see you never saw you before and i'm so thankful and glad that you are here yeah okay so yeah let's go crafty leo in the building shout out to you shout out to you yeah come through family love you guys and i thank you so much for coming in educated natural what it do baby girl appreciate you coming in and supporting the kids this afternoon yes we're baking and crafting meat. Yeah, what's going on, Mr. Lisa? How you doing? Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you all. Yes, I love you guys, and I appreciate you. I know the kids appreciate you, and they're thankful that you came out this afternoon as well. All right, let's go, family. Rudy Crafted in the building. What's going on, Nicole Friesen? Yes. Jan Williams, how you doing, Jan? Type of BBQ Queens is in the building. What's going on, baby girl? Marissa Dangerous, what's happening, love? Hey, Deborah Garrett, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I really do. Thank you so much. Hey, Phantom. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Phantom is in the building, y'all. Say hello. Craftable Things is here. Say hello. Thank you, sweet tea, for coming in. The baby's booty. How you doing, sweetheart? Thank you so much. I'm giving the kids a little break right here. Kids, if you got to go get you some paint, you got to go get some water, if you got to clean up a mess, if you got to go in the kitchen, get you something to drink, go ahead and do that right now. Children, please do that right now. We'll get back into this paint in one minute. I just want to say hello to all our supporters, all our donators. They're in the building, kids. They are here, and they're here for your support. And I thank you all for coming in. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of y'all. No kids is painting with me today. Maybe, um... They're just waiting for the replay. <laughs> I think that this was maybe a challenging painting for the kids. 
I think I might ch- over challenge you guys. What y'all think? <laughs> nah, we can do it. I was just kidding. We can do it. Let's go, y'all. All right, so try to see Turtle. Um, it's got the Hulk face, so we're gonna bring that down. Uh, because the face is not that big. You have to go back and look at your reference photo, people. If your reference photo is saying one thing, you do it. And then when you go back, you be like, hey, it ain't like that. Then you change it. Okay? That's all. You change it. See how quickly I changed that Hulk face? We got more Hulk face to get rid of. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so we're going to get rid of some of this by using... A burnt umber and the blue. Let's go, family. I'm liking this turtle. I'm liking this turtle. I'm liking this turtle. Okay, I'm for it. Oh, it. Sissy, I'm here for it. Okay. I'm super geek. I'm mixing up some of the sienna, that brown is colored to it. Not that charcoal brown. That's up there. I always keep that separate, okay? Put the, the light on. And I'm coming under here, and I'm just going to just touch around and put some of that down and just trim his face away a little bit with it. I might need it to go into that burnt um, but let me get a little bit of it. on up under here. Yeah, there we go. Darken that up. Yeah, make that turtleneck come out. The turtle's got some strange necks. We're gonna make it pop out. We're just gonna squiggle our brush around. Okay? And then it's a dark little stripe up in here. We're gonna get our little fine brush, our detail brush, and we're gonna scribble it on there. Yeah, just scribble it on there, y'all. That's it. See? See his neck come out now? <coughs> Did y'all see his face starting to pop off his body now? You see it? It's okay. I'm going to make y'all see it. If y'all ain't see it the first time, y'all going to definitely see it in these next moves. I'm going to get into my white. I see a lot of white back there I haven't gotten to. So I'm just going to bring that on there. That's because I see it. And I also see it like it seems like it's curving around a shoulder part right here. So we're going to curve around it. We're going to do what we what it say. What our painting say, that's what we're going to do. We're getting too small this white. There's some white up here on this top of his arm. Make me want to call my homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some crab legs going on on the real today. All right. All right. So I hope. Put my hand in y'all face. Can't really see. I'm just going to, and I'm going. Okay. It's just, it says it's do it in the painting. I mean, in the reference photo, that's what it's telling me to do. So I'm just gonna do what it says. It's just telling me to go over the top with some of them. Just some of them, and I'm just squiggling in my brush. Not making a particular mark or like hard. I'm just doing what it say. I might want to get into a little bit of yellow. This yellow stuff up here that we had is gonna dry dried up a little bit. I'm just wet my brush and going to it. Try to wet it up a little bit. Cause I see some over here. It's like some dots and spots. So I'm just gonna make them dots and spots. Like that. Oh yeah, and don't forget. Because his arms start to look like it's dark shadow. So we still got some of that white and yellow on our brush. That's all right. Get into this blue and that ultramarine blue and come under here and make the arm mark like that. And then just blend it. Just blend it, y'all. Just blend it. And his arm should pop off away from his body 
when we finish with it, okay? So we're gonna get some more of that. Maybe get into this burnt sienna. Come back under here. We'll start making some dots and spots. And I can see it comes down a little bit like that. We're just wiggling our brush. Wiggle, squiggle, squiggle. And this is the good thing about Charter Turtle because Charter Turtle. Shard of Turtle is, is just a bunch of squiggly lumps and bumps and all type of features. You know what I mean? Now, once we get into this burnt umber, get a little bit on your brush. Maybe a little bit of black too. Just a little bit. Not much. But just right underneath the arm. Just hit it. Right underneath the arm, y'all. Right underneath. That gives you the pop. It makes it pop off. So it's a little darker than I want. So I'm going to get into this other mix. And I'm going to come back over it. And just tone it down. Just tone it down. But it don't look so stark and dark. Okay. Yeah. Just tone it down. Now. There's some other colors in here. They want. Some lime green in there. That's what they want. That's what I see. So I'm just start making some lime green and yellow. Oops. Maybe a little bit more green. Make some marks. Don't rinse your brush, y'all. See, that's the problem. Y'all be wanting to rinse your brush out. Don't rinse your brush out. Just add the marks on there. As they call for it. Don't rinse your brush out. And just make little marks triangles or circles or whatever you feeling with whatever you see it and it's asking you to do just make them. I'm just making these smaller marks I can add a little white in there to light it up see if I can get that color that they have on the skin of this turtle they don't have it the turtle has it this is on unique colors okay Shout out to the fam in the building. I just make little tiny dots, y'all. Make them, make them, make them. Make the dots. Now, I told you guys earlier, you was not going to be able to make every dot on the turtle. And we're not trying to. But we're trying to um, make as much as we can, okay? There's 126. We're halfway through this thing. Well, I'm more than halfway through this thing. I'm trying to get finished with it so that we have a complete painting today. You know? I want you guys to be happy. I don't want anyone to work on it more than two days. Two days is like pretty much the most I will work on our, our art piece with you guys. So what I just did was I went into... You guys, let me move this over a little bit. What I did was I went into my um, Raw Sienna... A little bit of orange, a little bit of white. And I want to come over here and I'm going to start making marks and see if how it's looking over here. Like, what do I do to do to make that color pop off over here? I think that I need to go into this rock sienna or maybe some burnt sienna too and darken it up. Okay, and just darken this color up over here. The burnt sienna. Make it dark, make it dark. Come around. And we're going to get back to his face. I'm trying to let that dry a little bit. And I'm studying it at the same time. Okay, so we're just going to add some raw sienna and burnt sienna to get you. We come in here. I'm just going to start adding more. If it's not dark enough, I'm going to add some more. All right. Yeah. It's starting to look good. And I'm just going to... I don't care what I did over there. I'm going to cover it up. So I'm trying to lay a foundation. And make sure that I get the colors I need in there. And go around his neck. Make sure it's nice and dark. Add some blue in there if I want to. Just go around the back of his neck. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah looks really good you guys you are awesome yeah 
All right, so I'm just coming around like that. How you like it? How y'all like it? Shark, sea turtle. It's looking amazing, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. You see it, Rudy? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right, family. All right, so I see a lot more of this color down all around here. So I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to grab some and bring it around and do my thing. Do my thing. You do your thing. Let's go. We're going to do our thing together. We're going to get that neck together. Yep. And all around in here, I see a lot of this color. So we're going to add it in. All right. Add it in. Let's go, family. Burn sienna. Burn sienna. A little bit of blue. What's going to do? All right. Let's get into it. Start putting something down. It's fine. Make little circles, you guys. Make little circles. I'm running out paint. So I'm going to make some more circles. Running out of paint. All right. So we'll just make them all down in here. Squiggly lines and circles. Squiggly lines and circles. You see, you need it at that. You put it at, okay? I see a mark that's here that's going side to side. That's really weird. Well, I guess it's not because it's on his crab leg arms. So we're going to go around here. Yeah. Put the, put the marks in, you guys. Squiggle it around. What are we doing? What are we doing on this doggone turtle, y'all? What are we doing? All right, let's go, y'all. Oh, I got another joke, y'all. I got another joke. Y'all need another one? Yeah, let's go. So I see a little orange in there. So I went and got some orange on my brush. And I'm lightly, very lightly, finding all the spots where I can put that orange at and make it look cute. Okay, because it's all about looking cute for Shot of Sea Turtle. Shot of Sea Turtle got to look cute. The summer is here. And Shot is about to travel, okay? Shot of Sea Turtle is traveling. All right. I see a lot of this color up in the beak now that I'm looking at the original picture. And I got it so plain with that one color we had. This color also is in here. I can see it. Now I can see it. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to make the tip of that beak. I'm just going to keep stroking it downward because that's what I see in the painting that the beak goes downward. Right, and I might need to get my other brush out for this. So, but before I do, I made this part here. Um, so I want to I want to try to clean it up a little bit. All right, so I wet my brush, and I just want to get that beat. Now, this I'm going to go in, and I'm going to wiggle my brush side to side very lightly like you lightly writing with the pencil that's why you see me adjust the way that i held my brush from this and i went down a little bit and i'm laying the brush this way because i want to be able to show you but if i didn't have to show you i would lay my brush a different way but anyway it doesn't matter how you lay your brush you're going in close so when you go in very fine detail like this, you need to get closer. Your face is going to get closer to the piece. Your hand is going to come down closer on your brush. And you can get in with the fine details of it all. Okay? So, I'm getting to some green, some darker green. I'm going to add it to this mix, you guys. All right? And what we're doing is we're going to try. I'm going to try. A little burnt down too. I'm gonna mix that in there. I'm gonna try to add a shadow to this side. So I'm going in like this. And I'm just going to pay attention. Every time I'm looking up at my painting, I mean my reference photo, and I'm looking and I'm switching my eyes back and forth. I'm switching my eyes back and forth. I'm looking at the reference photo. I'm looking at Shadow T Turtle. I'm looking at the reference photo. I'm looking at Shadow Sea Turtle. I'm looking at the reference photo. I'm looking at Shadow Sea Turtle. Okay, and and I'm noticing some stuff. I'm noticing that 
it's not just oh, that might be too much water. That is some water on my brush. But this right here, I need to add just a little bit of white right here. And I'm separating what I have the neck here already on here. And I'm separating that from the back. That allowed me to separate the face from the back of the turtle when I added that little white there. Okay. But what I did was I added a shadow and I went in close under the beak. It's dark under there. But I had to represent it. I went and got me some of this burnt umber. I put it there. And I went in really close with it. And that gave me a really deep shadow so that you can see the beak is coming over. Remember I told y'all earlier, like, this is the bottom lip part and the beak comes over. So that's what made that jump over there because I added that burnt, that burnt, um, burnt umber there. It made a darkness, okay? Shadows is dark, light are not dark so i want to try to add the shadow as i see it in a picture just at least some of the shadow and you have to blend at this point you cannot just make a shadow and walk away because it's going to look like a dark mark i hope i make a sister you guys parents if your children is having trouble understanding what i'm saying please let me check my email check my email no nothing there all right. all right they got it all right let's go then all right so i was working on the face and i'm going to just point and add a little dark a uh, little green to it the face is really wrinkled um i'm just trying to find where all these little marks that will really make a difference in our sea turtle the sea turtle is beautiful for you guys um so i got some light on my brush the light goes on top of the darks like we made those items over there so i'm just gonna push my brush around and get a little color on my paint i'm gonna come through and i'm gonna add some dots not night not light enough so get some more white on there start making specks 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 speckles 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 dots Put them in there. Don't be afraid. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Okay? Just don't be afraid. Get your, get your brush. Got a little white on there, a little green on there. Add a little orange on there if you want to. Add a little yellow on there if you want to. I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as it's not stark white, then come in and make marks. Make your marks. Okay? That's good. That's a good color there. Make your marks and make them in the shape that you see them, and you'll be just fine. The marks that you see should be the marks that you put out. Okay. I see a mark or two here, like they hit you use little dots. I might need to get put put a just hitting time on try to see turtle. Okay, a little lighter over here. So I'm gonna add a little white on my brush. I just make lighter mine. That's very good job. You guys did a great job. Honestly, you are. I'm going to come through here and I'm going to make those little marks for the crab leg arms again. Because I colored over them, remember? And over here, too, I did. I covered over them. So I'm just going to remake them. You guys probably didn't do what I did. So hopefully you did not. Okay, hopefully you did not. All right. So now. We're about to get into this eye and face again and put some, um, put the eyes together, honey, on Shard the Sea Turtle. So we just gonna go around because it's making it look like the eye is really bigger than it is because I went overboard. So I'm just gonna tone it down with a little white. Um, Let's see what else I can do. I see some orangey in there, like an orange and white. So I'm going to put some orange on my breast. And we'll come over the top of the eye like this. Yeah, that's nice. Top of the eye like that. 
under here like this. Just coming along, you guys. Just coming along. All right. Get a little, get a little white. When, you, when it's too light, add some white, okay? Too white, when it's too dark, add some white. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I want to take my time with the beat because I don't want to mess up what I did down here. And I really want this to stand out. So I'm just going to come down and make it look just like the breakfast photo. Guys, stretch your arms out. Getting tired? Yeah, that's why we like to stretch. If you went outside your lines, go back and fill it in where it should be. That's what I'm doing right now. I went outside my lines. So now I want to go back and fix it. <coughs> hey, Nova Real So, how you doing today? Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody's effort coming in and supporting the kids today. That's right. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Have fun with your family. Whether you're going out on a boat this weekend, like I am not. Y'all thought I said, y'all thought I was gonna say like I am, huh? No, hmm. unfortunately not. Okay, so I get in the beat together, and I think I might went overboard with it, but we don't care. I'm just gonna try to do this little chin part right here that I'm seeing. I've been looking at it for a minute, trying to figure out how I was gonna do it. I'm not really sure, but if it's working, it's working. I'm going to add a little blue in here now at this point. Just a little bit. Under here in the chin area. Just add a little bit of blue for some interest. Put some white with it because that's too blue. Okay. And while I got this blue, I see a lot of it around the eye. So I'm just going to take it and put it around the eye. And then I see it on the beak. So I'm add some. I'm going to scrape some off of there. And I'm gonna put it on the beat. Yeah. And so yeah, I wanna make sure that's not so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I think I might have messed up, but it's okay. I'm not gonna get upset about it. I'm really not because you can change things with pain. I, I tell y'all that all the time. So change it with the paint. Sometimes you might have to let it dry. That's okay too. Alright, so I see a little bit of orange on the face still. Get a little orange. What you see, that's what you dip into. And don't worry about your palette. Oh, my palette is getting messed up. Your palette, honey, is going to get messed up. That's what it's all about. I mean, really, your palette will always, you will never keep a clean, neat, organized palette. If you want a clean, neat, organized palette, and that's all you're worrying about, then painting is your second priority. So you need to change that. You need to change the way of thinking. Don't worry about how your palette is. Yes, ma'am. All right? Don't worry about the palette. The palette is fine. All right, so. Yeah. I'm concerned about getting this eye together. So I see this little white stripe up here. So I'm going to bring it around like so. And I might have to trim some off of this just to make it look as more like the ref. This photo. But I won't worry about it for the sake of the podcast. You know, we're just going to keep going and making it happen. Because you guys are making it happen, so I can't stop. All right? So, we're just going to make that, that around here. And now we're going to add in some colors and cover up that final part of white that we had. That was it. We didn't have any more white to 
cover up that part right there. Now it's covered. All right. So at point of did I do a good job or not? We don't know. But what we do know is that you had fun. You know what I mean? I can't see what you did and what you didn't do. You can say you know, painting a picture of your painting to me at contact seven five five media at gmail.com and we can take a look at it and discuss it if you like or you just want to send it so it can be posted and and we can do that too so i'm here for you guys in all aspects of this art journey that you are on and i'm on with you all right so just take your paint and find all the areas that you need to darken up with the paint that's dark all right all of them find all the little spots you'll be like oh no i need to put some color there i need to put this there and you find it. and now we're going to work on the shape of the face okay so i'm gonna take some burnt sienna i'm gonna mix it with the blue because that's what i see there and i'm gonna come around the edge of the face like so all right i'm gonna stop when i say stop when it says stop and now i'm going to get into that black mixing it with some blue if your black is dried out take some water and rinse it not rinse it but wet it and mix that blue in with the black mix the blue in with the black it's going to be a super dark blue and come in and start mimicking the shapes that you see okay. and if it's not dark enough add more black or you can get into the burnt umber with it it's either it's okay either way so you just want to find these shapes these shapes i'm talk, talking about these shapes right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's twelve of them i just counted twelve so you're going to find twelve of those you're going to put twelve shapes here now if the shapes is not matching up to um the shapes is not matching the look that that's on there and you can adjust it with your brush if you get close and it doesn't look quite the same i wouldn't worry about it because you're not going to get every shape perfect unless that's your goal but in this two hour show i'm telling you not it's not going to happen so we'll just take the win all right so we're gonna put the dots on there we're gonna take the win if they're close put these dots on there all right on this face okay face marking and this is what makes these animals individuals. They're all different in their own way. Just like we are. We're different in our own way. You are beautiful in your own way. You can do this. You guys do not be afraid to try. Okay? Do never be afraid to try. All right? And don't let nobody tell you you shouldn't try something that you feel that you want to try and it's new. They're going to warn you. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. you know, now listen to the advice. Don't get me wrong. Listen to advice. But if you feel strong in your belief that you can do something, you try it. Don't hurt nobody now. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself. But you try it. Okay? And you'll learn a lesson. If it don't work out, you'll be like, man, they told me. But in art, you can always paint over it. That's life. I'm talking about in art, you can always paint over it. Okay? If you don't have a canvas left, now I'm going around the outside of the turtle's head with a light paint, with, which is uh, uh, orange and white. And I mix it together. I still got them other colors on my brushes, okay? So just gonna lightly from the back of my brush like this, lightly trace around his head and separate the head from the body. So yeah, that's in life, but in art, don't ever be afraid to try. Don't ever be afraid to try. Because you can go back over and paint over that um mistake like i'm doing 
can go back over and paint over that mistake and no one will ever know you made it. But you. And you ain't got to tell them. All right, so let's go. I'm just taking some blue. I put that orange up there. And I'm taking the blue and I'm going over it. And I'm just scrubbing my brush at this point. Trying to indicate a color that I see up there. Y'all want to hear another joke? I got one for you. Yeah. I see a little darkness on top of that blue. So I want to put that up there. Because I think Shaw the sea turtle will want me to. And I'm going to bring this down. On the beach. Alright. Just like that. Y'all sea turtle is coming together. Okay. Alright. He got a joke. He got a joke. He got a joke. What do you call when you, what do you get? Now, what do you get when you cross a turtle with a giraffe? Y'all remember the giraffe from last week? Uh, what do you get when you cross a turtle with a giraffe? Y'all know. You get a turtleneck. (laughs) You get it like turtleneck sweater. (laughs) Okay. All right, all right, that was corny, that was corny. I'll take that one. I gotta really do better with these jokes, if you know what I mean, right, sir? Oh yeah, okay. So we'll go back over here on this arm because I see this one color. And what I did was I took some burnt sienna, I mixed it with a little bit of orange and a little bit of white. And so now I see this color over here where it looks just kind of like, it looks, I'm gonna put a little bit more burnt sienna on it. It looks kind of like this has a toasty toasty look on his arm so i just want to come over here you said no sorry you don't see young 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 they like it and then i want to also separate this uh, uh, i just want to drag my brush around get some of that color on there and separate this pop this paw from this uh, uh, this is now my other picture don't get it see alright so I'm gonna go back into that same thing so let's see Anna a little bit of orange and some white I'll come back over here I'm gonna make some toasty 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 looks over here just some little toasty looks alright just a little toasty looks and I'm just swiping my brush I ain't doing nothing I'm not doing nothing you can't do. Just swipe your brush over here. Yeah, just swipe it over here. Yeah. Alright, so we got that going on. That's looking good, y'all. Sis, what you think about this eternal? We do. I think I want to add a shadow and then we're going to close this one out. Oh, yeah. I added just a little of that burnt uh, umber. Just to give a little shadowy effect under this puffy jaw area. Okay, just a little puffy jaw area. You just wanna take my brush and swipe it in the direction that I see it. It's like a W, like right here. Look, let me show y'all. See right here, it's like a W. See that little W right there? So I'm just gonna take my brush and go out there in a W shape to see that if I can get it happen. Okay, so. Thank you, Rudy Crafts. I appreciate you. I appreciate all y'all comments. I really do. I thank y'all for coming out for the kids. Y'all ain't coming out for me. That's 755. Y'all coming out for the kids on this one. So I really do appreciate y'all showing up, showing out. Y'all come every weekend. My God, y'all thank you so much. Because you could be watching the Grown Up channel. Just come over with these kids just to see how they doing and make sure they're painting properly. And I do my best to don't let y'all down so every time y'all come we got something new and exciting for you all something new and exciting every day hope you continue to do that and show me love and i know the kids thank you so on behalf of all the kids here just kidding i'm gonna say thank you oh so, yeah appreciate you all Cause without the grown-up support, you know, kids, we need you. 
Let's keep the need to go on ups. All right, so I'm still fooling around with all this stuff. I want to give my blue another coat. And the reason why I would like to give my blue another coat is because I wanted to super look good. And then any paints that I have, I can put on my rocks. You guys, I did a beautiful job this afternoon. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Shout out to Late Night Crafting with Stacy in the building that I know of. I appreciate you, Late Night Crafting with Stacy. And I appreciate all of you guys. If you can, uh, check out each other's channel. Um, as for the kids, you know, listen, you guys did a great job. Let's get some blue. I'm going to take my brush, my um, a flat brush, and I'm going to rinse. Ooh, I splattered a little. Hope I ain't getting none on y'all. Okay, so I rinsed it out really good. And I'm going to dry it off. Just a tad bit to get some of the water off my brush. I'm gonna get into my blue. I'm just gonna get into it. Okay, it's spray dried up a little bit like mine. See, a heavy body paint dries up, but jar paint doesn't. Acrylic uh, temper paint doesn't. I mean, it all dries up, but I'm just saying, mine's just really, really dry. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into my blue and I'm gonna go around my turtle. And I'm going to trim all the pieces that I went over with. Very, take my time to go very lightly around him, but I'm gonna make sure that I cover it all and don't leave a glowing effect with the other blue around him. I wanna touch his body, but just barely touch it, okay? So, barely touch it just clean all of that up all right just like that yeah there we go that's what i'm talking about all right so then it's a little piece of blue down here this part of the water i want to touch that up uh-huh touch my leg pick up that i got going on there touch that up and so i mean it's actually all water that's under here this sea turtle is covered with water. But I'm talking about the separation of the surrounding him, um, the water surrounding him, um, we need to go back and take care of, you know, make sure that we don't have mess ups and stuff. So I'm just going back over. It's a different color blue than what I used last week, and that's fine. This particular blue is more of an aqua color that we created because we had all these colors on our canvas. And it's super cool. It's all right. All right. So I'm just going around with it. Put a layer on. I'm going to let it dry. Try to swoop it one way so it don't look all cray cray. If you need more paint, go ahead and get it. If you see some spots you missed, go ahead and brush over. Lightly brush, okay? Lightly brush. Because y'all know acrylic paint will lift. All right? So we're just going to come over here. And when I get here, I am going to shape it in the way that the sea turtle is shaped on, on the photograph. Because I went over my lines. So if you went over your lines. Look at your reference photo and go back and shape the paws or whatever you got to shape the way it's supposed to be shaped. Okay. And just do that. You just squiggle your brush side to side while it's flat down on the canvas just to get close. Or you could do the smash and pulls method that I've that I've showed you plenty of times. Okay, so that's up to you. I see the shape of his body is like this. Got a flat square shape down on the side. See this flat square shape? Mass was round. I'm taking my breast, smash and pull, smash and pull, and squaring it off and making it straight down the side. Just like in my reference photo. 
You understand what I'm saying? Get down in here. Get this by this rock. If you get some on the rock, it's okay. You can go over the rock. Actually, because it's all underwater, so this is water. You just go over the rock a little bit, very lightly. Okay, make it look like a, the rock is down there. Okay, let's go, family. Thank you so much, Unbiased. Nice. Thank you so much, Late Night Crafting with Stacy. Thank you, Sweet Arts Cups Creation. Everybody, I didn't see Brothers Forever Gaming. What's up, baby? How you doing, Brothers Forever Gaming? Kids, if y'all want to watch a great gaming channel, go check out Brother Forever Gaming. Okay? Brothers Forever. Brothers, B R O T H E R S, the number four and ever is capitalized capital e capital v capital r brothers forever gaming okay and you'll find some great gaming over there uh made for children okay so you find you guys and go over there and check that out and tell them that i sent you over here from just kidding and go have some fun okay yes brothers forever gaming thank you for coming in i appreciate you I'm going to get some more of that brilliant blue I was telling y'all about and put it up here. And don't forget the size of the canvas, folks. I probably got to go back and do some of that. So, yeah, we're just making it work right now, y'all. We're trying to get, get it done for this afternoon, the weekend of uh, Memorial Day. You guys can go outside, hang out with your family, eat some hot dogs on the grill. I think I might have a hot dog on the grill today. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm hungry right now. That's going to take too long for me to fix that. <laughs> All right. So. Now I'm going to move this up a little bit. You all so we can see what's going on. We had the watermarks that we made. It wasn't really clear, clear water. All right. Thank you so much, Debra Gary. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna have put. I made put a little extra water, so I got some drips going on. Move it over so you can see. I just want to make some sideways markings, you guys. This is sideways. Just drag it around because I really want you guys to see the other side of. I mean, the other colors that's under here. I really didn't want to cover them all up, but I need to put that in there. But now that we're talking about coming to the surface of here, I just want to, if you paint over your turtle with a little bit of that blue, it's fine because he's underwater. Okay, so we are going to put a little slight shadow on there. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, a slight shadow. I'm going to show you how to do that, but not right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. And just, this is really mostly water, you all. A lot of paint is here, but this is mostly water. And I just want to shape our turtle okay we're gonna shape our turtle we're gonna go up here we're just gonna rent, wipe over this just a little bit it doesn't have to be all that get into your white you guys get into that white all right we're gonna just put some we're just gonna wipe it in there just wipe it in there you already put the blue on there with the um with the in, in the water okay so wipe that wipe that white in there go get some more come up here don't be afraid don't be afraid. Wipe it in there. Come on, y'all. Wipe it in there. Just wipe it in there. And we're going to just talk about that water shadow that's going on on top of him. Okay? Get some more. If it's not light enough, wipe it in there. And, it, and, and you blend it. You're going side to side. Just blend it side to side. Okay? Side to side. Okay? If it's too much, touch it. It's too much if it's not leaving. See how we made that? It didn't, it don't look like this. It's water there. Now we could take our time and do it. I could do it. You can do it. But we're just briefly going to talk and discuss that there is a light source coming from the sky. That is the sun shining on the, um, I need to hold my camera up here some kind of way. Let me get some tape, y'all. I'm really, I'm really. I want y'all to understand what I'm trying to do here. Y'all understand what I'm trying to do? There's 14 people watching. James Scott guy in the building. Thank you for coming out. 
great channel everybody y'all go check them out everybody go check out each other's channels in here i am broadcasting live from just kidding my just kidding channel is made for kids where i teach kids how to paint every saturday at 12 noon that's what we're doing right now jane so we're here on 755 media which is the parent channel and i'm just showing everybody because you cannot make comments on the kid channel there's no kids here they over on the other channel okay subscribe like hit that share button just kidding all right so here we are with the turtle and i'm making a light source in the water right here you guys see it i'm gonna have to find me a way to put a camera right here right here sis right here this is where they see in the most the best right here so i don't know how i'm gonna do it because i'll be in a way while i'm painting though behind me we're gonna work it out y'all this week i'm promise y'all i'm gonna try to get out get our studio together all right let's put a shadow on him so we can get up out of here y'all but first before we do i got another joke hey let's go all right y'all what do turtles sea turtles what do sea turtles do for their birthday what do sea turtles do for their birthday anybody want to take a guess They celebrate, celebrate good times. Come on, da, 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 da. hey, Shella. Wait a minute, sis. We get too carried away. No, no, no. Calm down, cuddle. Calm down. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> Let's go then. All right. All right. So we got this wet paint on our brush from. Um, painting the uh the, the, the water right so we got this wet paint on here dip your brush into water all right squish it around in your burn um but So it is. It's okay. If it's, if it's covering it, stop. It should not cover it. This is a glaze technique. Dip your paintbrush in the water. Tap it off. Tap it off. Go back in there. And you should go back and forth. Go back and forth. Get into that blue and that black. I mean, that burnt on your head. Just get into it. Very lightly. We see a shadow that comes down. Here, let me show you. This is a shadow that comes down across his body, like one of the crossbody bags my friend and just uh, right essentials have. Anyway, no, that's a whole other story. All right, but gonna come down with it and it's gonna go across, okay? So let's go, let's go. Don't be afraid. Come down at the crease of the neck, go down with it. Okay, and then come across very lightly that's too dark that's too dark get into your water just dip it and bring it out tap it tap it on your towel if you have to so the water don't just pour everywhere now that's too light so just dip it and come down just there you go now touch the part that it was dark touch that part touch that part and drag it over drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it all the way over because all of this is shadow drag it over you guys don't be afraid no 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 don't be afraid it's okay lightly glaze the turtle lightly glaze it lightly glaze it it's okay come on bring it around over here bring that same glaze if it's if it's if it's not anymore dip your dip your brush in the water and wipe the rag off just glaze it lightly glaze the turtle lightly glaze them it's okay Come on, y'all. Come on. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Now, what you're doing is showing that this turtle is on the water. That's all you're doing. That's all. That's it. Okay? Take a brush and squiggle it around. Squiggle it around. Squiggle it around. Get, get all of that. Get all of that. Make sure. Please. There you go. Just put them in water. There you go. And there you have it. We can go further with this. 
that's what any painting you can go even further and further as far as you want to go you can take this painting and do as much as you want to take with you i just gave you the basics for this afternoon and i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that whatever you decide to do with your turtle and how far ever you want to take it i hope it it turns out to bring you and everyone that sees it a lot of joy and happiness because i know it's, it's brought me a lot of joy in this afternoon morning with you all right so this is our finished product i'm gonna go ahead and sign it and while i am signing my painting i want you guys to sign yours as well let's go get our detail I'll brush off make sure we get it and i'm just gonna wipe off this thing a little bit because it's not shiny it's supposed to be shiny <laughs> okay sometimes it's hard to keep them clean you guys gotta try it's the hard all right so we got a nice detail brush okay you guys see it all right let's get into how about i'm gonna mix some orange and some white together and some green i'm gonna mix all the colors got to dip it into, into some blue and i'm gonna dip it to some orange i don't want no black okay because it's gonna make it too dark i want to just light color all right and so if i need more i'll get it and put it in there just squiggle it around and i probably could outline it in the black but i just want light color i want to color a turtle color that's what i want all right so once you get all that in there and I'm going to show you guys how to work paint palettes. You can get paint palettes for the Dollar Tree or whatever they call it now. I think it's still the Dollar Tree. But any store like that. You can get paint, paint knives. I'm showing you what that is. And it's for mixing paint. You guys uh, can or even order them on Amazon. Um, so I've been doing a lot of brush mixing, but that actually does that damage to brushes. All right, so if I wanted to really like to show you guys, look, look, so I get, get some more white, I put it in there, I get some orange, I put it in there, I get some brown sienna, I put it in there. So I take my palette knife and I just switch it around. And that's how you really truly mix. Because doing it with your brush the way I've been showing you will damage your brush. But I am trying to show you to use what we have to do with You know what I mean? And so that's why I have not showed you the powder knife until now. But now that you see it, Go get you a powder knife, family. Dad, you know what I'm saying? Kids, instead of getting that bag of chips this week, ask for a powder knife. Your parents will be shocked. Okay. So I'm going to just mix that all together. Now, see. A. U. N. T. And a P. All right, there it is, y'all. There it is. Try to see turtle, everybody. Woo! We did it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. All right. Let's go in for a close up. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Hey. I did a great job. Screenshot. All right. Good job. Family. I don't know what I would do without y'all. Let me get my, let me get my headphones up in here. All right. Oh, sorry about that. 
get my headphones out of here. Bam. So glad we had this afternoon. Had a chance to enjoy one another's company. <sighs> I feel so good. Don't you feel good? We got it down, y'all. Look, come on now. Come on now. We about to put this sucker on our wall. Okay, let's go. Let's go, family. Listen, we thought we couldn't do it, but we did. And we're hanging on the wall. And we'll be back next week with another great, great uh, art piece to do. Because guess what? It's Freestyle Saturday next week. That's right. You know, at the end of the month, I always do a freestyle for y'all. So, shout out to everybody who participated. If you'd like me to see your art, please, please, please send it to contact 755 Media. Am I dark? Am I too dark, y'all? Let me turn this back on. Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding. That's right. Thank you, Akados. Yeah. Send your any information that you need to send me to uh, 755 just kidding at gmail.com. 755 just kidding at gmail.com. Sometimes I get confused, y'all, but it's all in love. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? So, look, it's all the same thing. You guys, don't forget, we got the Etsy boxes. They're still on deck. Anybody want to donate to the cause? Please, the cash app is still the same. Dollar sign, dollar sign 755 Media, or you can go on Just Kidding um, on Etsy page or order yourself a box. Now, get ready to ship this box out all the way to New York. And they want to do the Star Turtle, even though we already did it, they still want it. So here's the picture of the Star Turtle. Shout out to my Epson Workforce 7720. Oh, and the paper, baby. The Epson paper. Look how pretty and vibrant that is. It's popping, right? They might just frame this. No, they better do the work. So, you know what? Each package comes with all the stuff that you need. We have, it comes with the cup. See the cup? It comes with the cup. It comes with a set of acrylic paints. The different types varies, okay? Depends on the donations that we receive or what we have on deck comes with the easel. These easels were donated by Sonya Siegler. Shout out to Sonya Siegler. So, you know, we put these boxes together. Inside the boxes, you get a variety of stuff. You get a couple of canvases for freestyles. You also get a paint palette, um, paint brushes, all kind of goodies. Uh, there's a table cover. Uh, there's also an apron in here. There's a... Um, and each box was different. It depends on what we have on hand, you guys, okay? So don't think that, oh, I didn't get that. or well, it wasn't available at time. So you get a little rag, well, just kidding, tile, tile. And you also get the canvases, pre-drawn canvases, where I draw the items out for you that we're going to work on for the month. You're going to get two or three of them. It depends on what's going on for that particular month. I will ship them out with you. And when you get your box, it got that little just kidding label on it. How do you know it came straight right here from the Just Kidding show? So, yeah, each box comes with um, uh, uh, all those things that you saw. And I'll even include the Just Kidding dog tag, tag which will have a cord, not a, not a chain, okay? I don't think we have any more with the chains on it, but you will have a cord on it. You put your own stones if you like. That's up to you and your parents. However, you'll get that. $35 on the Etsy page. Make sure you tell your mom to check that out. And you won't have to worry about anything. You'll have enough paintings, supplies to pay for the entire month. Okay. Also, don't forget to let them know about the boot camp, the paint boot camp. They'll be coming up for the summer camp. Okay. We got those things happening. Thanks to the uh, Just Kidding. And we'll be publishing something later on this weekend for you guys. Okay. But for right now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to smile because y'all did a good job, man. Y'all did a bomb job today. I am so impressed. Oh my God. I can't believe you guys went this far with me. 
we're gonna do something else i don't know what the next thing is gonna be i gotta put it together just stay tuned for that all right but what i want you to do take your hands because we've been sitting in this chair painting for over an hour now right good two hours almost this is a long show i'm apologizing for that but it's memorial day we had to get that shot turtle done let's just do a quick stretch Hold your arms out and wiggle your fingers, you guys. Just wiggle your fingers. Pull your arms all the way out. All the way out. You feel it in your back of your neck? Yeah. Throw your neck side to side. Good job. All right. So clean up. Make sure you wash your brushes out. Take good care of them. Wash your cup out. Don't slosh that water all over the house. Nah, nah. We don't do that. It's just kidding. All right. So you get that done. Put all your paints up. And you go show everybody your art because you should be proud, baby. So with that being said, I love you guys. I will definitely see you next week, every Saturday, 12 noon Central Time, baby. Yeah. And um, I don't know, was it something else I needed to tell the kids, sissy? Because I forgot. I don't remember what it was. Um, it was something I wanted to tell them. Oh, yeah. I remember. You deserve art. Yeah, you do. I'm 755 Media. Yes, and kids deserve art. I'll see y'all next week. Love you. Kids deserve. 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 Thank you. Thank you. 755 Media. Thank you so much, Motown. We love you. We'll see you at Saturday. See you.